Hey, Brendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And welcome back to Predictions. This time it's for WWE King and Queen of the Ring. That's coming up Saturday morning. Uh, I think Thursday morning we're probably going to do our predictions for AEW's Double or Nothing. But this is Dabbit Dabbit E. Larson, we're doing our predictions. We use confidence points when it comes to the Big Blue Predictions Challenge. Yeah. Can you explain the confidence points? To sure. People? So, for example, King and Queen of the Ring, there's five matches. Match you're most confident in, you give how many points, Steve? Five. Match you're least confident in, how many you give? One. Can you repeat point values? No. I've tried that. You'll get caught. Every match has to have unique Confidence point value, you get your pick right, you get those points. We add up those points at the end of Weekend of Champions. Double or nothing. Plus, King and Queen of the Ring, whoever's most points, either retains or is new Big Blue Champion. That's right. Will John Hosey retain his Big Blue Championship? Find out or participate. Uh, you can do so by getting the Friendo Club set up. Patreon.com slash Stephen Larson or... Uh, by clicking join over at the podcast channel, youtube.com slash Stephen Larson. But enough of all that, Larson. Let's go ahead and dive into the into the predictions here for WWE. Uh, what is another five-match card as we're looking at? Five matches. Let's kick off with the Intercontinental title match. You got Sami Zayn defending against Chad Gable and Bronson Reed. Who do you got, Steve? Sami Zayn. He lost to Chad Gable. Otis is going to be there. I suspect they'll probably do a thing where uh, Otis will uh, somehow get involved or elect to not get involved, uh, and that might sway the match in some way, shape, or form. I'm expecting, look, all three of these guys, phenomenal in-ring wrestlers. I expect 17 to 21-minute match, uh, and I think it's going to be really, really good. But uh, there in Jeddah, of course, Sami Zayn, uh, he, he's made it a point to make it a kind of a big deal when he's now – Going to Saudi Arabia. So, uh, yeah, I fully expect him to win this triple threat match. How many confidence points? Hold on. Uh, I've got four. Four. I agree with everything you just said. However, I have Sami Zayn winning this match, but with Five constant confidence points. Otis is going to play in the finish somehow. You're right about that. Either due to inaction, not helping Chad Gable, or directly costing Chad Gable this match. Mm -hmm. uh, Sammy's a thousand percent going to win. Five confidence points. Let's talk now. King and Queen of the Ring finals. Let's start with uh, what we expect to be the final for the King of the Ring tournament. I'm talking Gunther versus Randall Keith Thornton. Once Gunther won on Raw this week, it seems certain, though I guess anything could happen, that Randy Orton is going to win on the SmackDown side of the bracket, reaching the finals. I got Gunther winning the King of the Ring tournament. I got three confidence points on Gunther winning this match. Uh, you know, if Dave Meltzer's be believed, Randy Orton, at least in his estimation, has a chance. However, mm -hmm. Randy never s seems to take issue with losing. Yeah, He's cool doing the honors. Um, and as we've seen throughout this tournament, uh, this tournament seems to, to exist, at least as re in regards to Gunther, in terms of building him back up after uh, losing the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. Feel pretty good about Gunther being your next king of the ring. Uh, Steve, who do you have? Yeah, this is a tough one. Like, I'm, 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 at this point, I'm just debating whether it's going to go three confidence points or two confidence points. I've got Gunther as well with, I'm going to say right now, three confidence points. My king and queens of the ring are existing in the three and two confidence point Same. area. Uh, and so, but at this spot, I feel like Gunther's chances are better. I'm more, I'm more secure picking Gunther. I feel more secure picking Gunther than I do. Bianca, Naya, or even Lyra. At three confidence points, right? Yeah. At three confidence yeah. points. And <laughs> I do not... Tom, Tom and Tonga doesn't even feature in the equation here. Orton, Saudi Arabia likes Orton. Meltzer makes a good point with the Cody stuff. But like you said on today's show, 
AJ got a title shot without needing a win prior to that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Gunther's been talking about, hey, I'm, I'm, I am gonna be the king of the ring, and pff, who am I to, who am I to dispute that? So the ring general comes through with three confidence points. Gunther next queen of the ring tournament final, Lyra Valkyria, she's in the final for sure. We're shooting this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so we're unsure about who's coming out of the SmackDown side of the bracket. It's either Bianca or Nia Jax. Steve, give me your scenarios and who wins those scenarios. All right. So I said this earlier on the show. If I were a betting man, if I had to put money on it right now, it'd go. I'd go with Bianca Belair. Golly, this is a hard one. Right now, I'll say Bianca with two. If Nia Jax wins on Friday, I still think it's Nia Jax. I would say that the order of likelihood between these three, to me, is Bianca, then Nia, then Lyra. So, yeah, whoever comes out of SmackDown, if it's Bianca or Nia, I think SmackDown wins. I think right now we're seeing the true Queen of the Ring finals on SmackDown right now. Uh, on Friday. So, yeah, I got Bianca right now with two. If Nia wins on Saturday, on Friday, rather, then I'll go with Nia Jax with two. Agreed yet again. I have it written down here the same. Bianca or Nia, two confidence points. It's, it's <clears throat> you know, I, I as I said on the Raw recap, I think the odds of Lyra winning go up a bit if Nia comes out of the SmackDown side of the bracket. Um, but, yeah, I definitely agree with that. But... I think you're right. This is like all those years in the NBA playoffs where the Western Conference final was essentially the NBA final. Yeah. Um, and whoever comes out of the SmackDown side of the bracket, you got to think, is the favorite to become queen of the ring. So whether it's Bianca, whether it's Nia, I got two confidence points on whoever comes out of the SmackDown side of the bracket becoming queen of the ring. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let's move on to this next match. For the World Women's Championship, you got Becky Lynch, the champion, defending against, watch me, watch me, watch me, Liv Morgan. So much has been made of Becky's contract expiring in a matter of weeks, maybe at this point, days. Um, I mean, I guess you could say the same, whether it's weeks or not. It could be five days, it could be 13 days, it could be 21 days, still days. (laughs) That's still days. Could be 436 days. Still, still days. days. Anyways, her contract's expiring soon. Uh, no news on a, a deal being struck as of yet. Um, so that, that weighs in the pick here. You know, but I don't know if... If they have Becky win on the premium live event and then, and then on the Raw following, Liv picks up the title. Or if Liv wins here... Or if Liv wins it all. I don't mm-hmm. know. You got to think Liv would probably pick up the title some point before Rhea comes back so they can feud over it. Since Liv and Story is the one who knocked Rhea out of action. Right now, I'm going to say Liv with one confidence point. I, I don't even feel good about using my lowest confidence point value on this. Yeah. If I could yeah. push on a match, this would be the one I'd push on. I'm with you on this one. I've got Becky, and everything you said makes sense. And I might change this pick, but my gut tells me they have not done nearly enough with Liv to justify her being champion right now. I just don't see it, but I could be wrong. I feel like the contract stuff is going to get sorted out. I think that Becky Lynch could be working without a contract and still be champion, and everybody can trust that like everything's going to be fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But at some point, she'd have to get a contract, and she'd have to drop the title. Um, and then you've, got, you've also got... Uh, they're heading to the UK for Clash. I know they're in Scotland. She's Irish. But there's probably still going to be some contingent of Irish fans there because it's pretty close. Um, so, man, yeah, I, right now I've got Becky with one. I th- I do think that because we're in the P- Paul Levesque era, everything is about patience. Liv might win money in the bank. 
Like, she could lose here, mm -hmm. lose a rematch, get money in the bank, and then cash it in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push on this one and say, uh, I'm going to push on, on Liv winning and say, I got Becky with one confidence point because everything takes like three times the amount of time yeah. that it should. Liv ain't ready. I don't think, I don't think the creative's there for her. No, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. And if, if from a creative standpoint, if there was a direction, an obvious direction, it, I would have a lot more confidence in terms of who wins this match. But I just feel like they're just putting them out there and they're talking trash to each other without a whole lot of direction with the story. And therefore, I kind of don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, it, it wouldn't shock me if Liv Morgan one especially when you sort of also dude see how these nxt call-ups are playing out nobody i mean lyra is going to go into the finals but i don't think she's going to win queen of the round I'll be kind of surprised because they 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 debut these former nxt champions at a certain level and so my thought that tiffany stratton was going to win money in the bank and then cash in this year i don't i'm sort of d doubting that right now they're taking their time with more things. Liv Morgan, I could see her winning money in the bank mm -hmm. and using that, hell, maybe even on Rhea Ripley. I don't know. Um, after Rhea comes back and gets the title back. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going to say that they're going to push on Liv until maybe money in the bank. I think Becky retains it, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I might eventually go that direction too by the time our picks are final. These are for entertainment purposes only. Hey, let's talk about some. Oh no, we got. We still have another match to talk about. I'm sorry. Non-binding picks here. So let's go to the main event. You got Cody Rhodes, your not universal champion. You know what? If they're gonna drop any adjective from the name of that belt, it really should be undisputed because there are two world champions in the company. Therefore, the who is the world champion is very much in dispute. Anyways, it really isn't. Well, in terms of how they <laughs> like, book it, I get look, it. Look, look, when Drew wins the title, then you'll have a point. Damien Priest right now is non-existent, but I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cody's taking on Logan Paul. Again, not for the U.S. championship, just for the undisputed championship. Steve, who do you got? Cody with five, right? Cody with five. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go San, uh, San, I, uh, Cody with I have with Cody five. with four just in case they do something weird with the finish. That's it. They might want to protect Logan here somewhat. And, you know, back when they initially... Uh, announced this match, we had conversations, you know, because we thought it would be both titles on the line, how they would wonk this finish uh, in, so that Logan didn't lose and lose his title. Mm -hmm. And not to say that Logan can take a loss. He has. He can. But if they don't want their U.S. champion being pinned yet, I know it's by the undisputed champion, but still, they could do some sort of wonk finish where someone returns, someone makes a debut, something to make an impact at the end of the match. So the match just kind of ends. Don't expect okay, it to happen, ask, but let me ask you this: I'm leaving, the, I'm leaving the wiggle room for the possibility. What for the purpose? Okay, okay. So okay, okay. So yeah, that's so that's why you're going for. It. Okay, yeah, okay. just four rather than five, just in case something like that happens. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I got all my confidence on Cody because I think it's I think it's and I don't you know I still have four on Sammy, but I still feel like there's a little bit more wiggle room there for Gable to sneak out with that title, which I it's not going to happen. But I feel like there's more wiggle room there than Cody versus Logan Paul. That's why I've got five here on Cody. Fine. Fine. Let's talk about these prop bets really Fine. quick to get the people jazzed about the predictions challenge. Some of these oh, yeah. prop Let's bets are them. interesting. Uh, so uh, let me get to them here. Here we go. Who eats the pin? Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, or Bronson Reed? It would make sense if Otis got involved in the finish if it, it led to Chad Gable eating the pin. I feel like Otis being in this sort of like – preclude or uh, we don't have you don't have the necessity of Bronson Reed being in the match because Otis is there and he could potentially screw things up yeah um in uh the next prop bet will the bloodline interfere in any match if there's not a bloodline member on the card then I don't even know if they'll be there so I'd say no I agree with that how will Uncle Howdy slash Bo Wyatt debut interfere in a match call out Cody 
after credits, like at Extreme Rules, not even going to be in Saudi Arabia or at AEW. Lol is the actual phrasing here. Um, I'm going to say it's not going to be in Saudi. Yeah, that'd be my my guess, too. Not Saudi Arabia, yeah. I don't think he's going to be there. Uh, and then it goes into the AEW ones, and we'll get to those on Thursday. So hopefully we'll see you guys for that. And hopefully you'll join us on Saturday morning uh, or afternoon for the East Coasters mm-hmm. uh, for uh, uh, King and Queen of the Ring. And then, of course, Sunday evening for AEW Double or Nothing. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Till next time, we'll see you around. Goodbye.